instead of having a tutorial where I show you actually what I'm doing there's not really that much space in my room at the moment so I'm going to do a talk through. In the shin pads I've used matte foam which comes in a six pack and I got mine from Amazon so I'll leave the link below. Um, so I cut my sizes out, I just kind of winged it. So this is one of the pieces and this is the piece that will eventually fit on that. So once I've styled it, um, shaped it and heat gunned it, um, this should look like this piece of armor here. So this is how it looks after it's been sanded down and heat heated. So for this process I used heat gun and uh, a Dremel which I just bought from being cured for about £25. And then from here I <coughs> primed it with gesso which I bought from Hobbycraft and then from there I'll sand it down using a sanding block or some fine sanding paper so that kind of uh, roughness has been took away, something smooth and then I'll end up with something like this and then this has been primed with PV glue then with this Americano, no, Americano uh, acrylic paint, it is very fast drying and it has a lot of coverage and, and it's a beautiful colour and I think some people have done a, just a silver version of her armour and some people have just done this in a matte, a matte colour um, I'm going to go with both so I've applied this and then added some of this basics acrylic paint in silver and applied it on quite thickly and then let it sit there for a bit and then wiped it off with some um, some old cloth uh, and it leaves this metallic -y shine to it and then um, in the corners and all the um, sections which are kind of risen up I've added some black oil paint so I just painted in a, in a line of black oil paint in the corners um, and then and then took a dry brush to it and then blended all of the the, the black oil paint out. Oh, I made these ridges. Ridge. So each each piece can sit on each other. So when the shin is all attached to the leg, there, there is still some place to move. That's it. And um, also <coughs> on the back. Um, I'm going to be attaching some elastic to it so they still have the joint thing but it's just more flexible. I bought this wig from Cuscraft. Uh, it came as a, mostly all one length, very long, and just the fringe come to about here, about seven wigs from Cuscraft and I've never had any problem with any of them. Um, so basically what I did with this um, is that I um, sectioned these two bits out and cut them shorter because they are short, they come to about the chest plate of their costume. And then I'm keeping the, the shortness of this wig, I'm not going to add any more wets to it because I think you know, I'm just quite, quite happy with it to be this length. Um, then I just brushed the paw, the, the hair band, hair back, and put it inside, and then got an elastic band. So you can get these clear elastic bands from uh, Primark for a pound. You get like white, clear, and black in in a bag, um, and I find them really useful for wigs, uh, just because bubble really seem to be um, really as effective. And I bought this headband from, ooh, bought the headband from uh, again from Hobbycraft. It was just a plain headband, uh, this white material on it. Um, I bought some ribbon um, just to cover the headband and then hot glued it on the inside. 
the access ribbon that I bought. Um, I bought about two meters. I'd rather have access uh, ribbon than be too short. But I made two um, balls on for each side. Um, really, they're a bit too big. This is one of the um, this is one of the balls that I'll be using to go on at the ends of the skirt and one on the hair. Um, it's just a polystyrene ball I bought from Polycraft and you get three in a pack um, and I got two different sizes. Uh, this one is being um, primed and then painted with uh, purple paint and then went over with, uh, with, a, with this silver paint against to give it that kind of metallic shine. I'm not happy with the finished look at the moment so I'll have to work on it. Um, I've just bought some spray paint and I'm going to use a, um, a new technique I think with the, the spray paint and covering some of it in um, like a spray of water and then applying the spray paint so it gets the kind of clouded um, galaxy looking effect. At the moment it's just attached by this um, ribbon but I will change that to the longer ribbon just because I find it hard I'd rather just um, pop it over my head and then tie it up. This one is just made out of um, craft bone and then with the, applying the same painting technique as I have with the, the armour this is craft bone which my cat has been getting into because he's left his claw marks. Um, so just basically because because of the how flexible this form is that's the most appropriate material to use. It, I found this one was PVA it wasn't it was gesso paint and it was PVA glue um, to seal it and then sanded it down ever so slightly and then put the acrylic paint on and then covered it in the silver paint, wiped it off and then aged it or weathered it with the black oil paint. So these bits here, uh, it's just another layer of um, craft foam put onto the top and hot glue down on both sides. Um, the good thing about the craft foam is that it is quite flexible so you can stretch it to take the shape. So this was all one straight line and um, from here to here it was just a strip of craft foam. It wasn't um, shaped or anything so I just kind of like pulled it and stretched it along and glued it down a little um, and the same thing for along this side. Uh, the, the relief pattern, um, this was done by hot glue went around with the pattern and, and created this this kind of pattern that would match the chest piece pattern. Um, yeah. Then to finish it off, I also spray painted the inside, and this one this is going to be um, sealed with mod podge, and then uh, to complete the to make it look more finished, I used an eyelet punch. Um, I got this one from Hobbycraft as well um, with some eyelets and just pop three in there so when it's closed or when it's attached to the neck we'll use the ribbon like I said it wasn't it's not as long as I'd want it I'm gonna go buy some lemon ribbon um, but that is how it should look this took me about half a day to make um, a lot of the time it took was waiting for it to dry um, I would just, I'm, I'm a bit impatient so when I painted something in it, I think that it's dry, I'll just go ahead and paint the next layer on it. And if you like this video, please hit like. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Bye!